Thanks for that, AJ. Now we're continuing on with our How Cool Is Your School coverage. And Mark is at Grandview Elementary School this morning. The bees are a buzzing, and Mark's pretty excited to join us. Good morning, Mark. <laughs> Yeah, good morning once again, Tracy. Again, this is your theme of how cool is your school out of this world, how the kids in the schools are uh, learning uh, science lessons through the uh, total solar eclipse that we'll see come our way next April. And they've got some tables set up here, uh, basically going grade by grade through uh, Grandview Elementary School and what the kids are learning in science class. Uh, what's your name, son? Jack. Jack, what are you learning here? This is kindergarten and first grade. You're in first grade, right? <laughs> Tell us what you're learning in science class, Jack. About fossils and dinosaurs. Fossils and dinosaurs, and they just keep learning as they move up through the grades. What's your name, son? Fred. Fred, what are you? Uh, what, are you what, what are we seeing in front of us here? What are we? We're um, we're learning how different animals have uh, different ways to eat. Different animals have different ways to eat. Yeah, that is very interesting. And again, they, they've got. Uh, We've got some animals set up at this booth moving down to here. I believe uh, we're at the third grade table, right? Is this the third? Fourth grade. Fall. Well, let's go into fourth, fourth grade. grade. Good morning, young ladies. What's your name? Ashlyn Kaufman. Ashlyn, tell us a little bit about uh, what, what we have in front of us here. So this is one of our science experiments where we used energy. When you put the marble at the top, it rolls down farther. Okay. But when you put it lower, it doesn't move down, and so it uses energy. Oh, excellent. And what do we learn from that? We learned that energy moves faster from higher up. Excellent. See, learning science lessons is part of the uh, Tolar Solar Eclipse. And then this is the fifth grade table, I believe, if I can mo right move. Right oh, move my way down through here. Hey, what's your name, son? Brandon Uden. Brandon, tell us uh, what's going on in this table and, uh, you know, the science lessons on display. So we're, we're just learning about how worms, how how worms are decomposers, how, how they break down dead matter, and how consumers, producers, and decomposers all exist with each other in one ecosystem. Wow, very heavy stuff. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Yeah, and we've got uh, one final table. Can, what's your name, hon? My name's Anna. Anna, and what's, uh, we've got some books on display here. This is, uh, this is the, the, the Natural Wanderers Club. Tell us what the Natural Wanderers Club here at Grandview does. Um, it does a lot of stuff with nature, and it, like, it makes, we, like, plant trees and plant bulbs and, like, make nature collages. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff outside. You can see it here from the sign, the Natural Wanderers Club. So many lessons being taught here at Grandview Elementary School and so many connections to next year's total solar eclipse. We're having a blast learning why Grandview Elementary is out of this world. Again, they are the third of the four finalists in this year's How Cool Is Your School contest. We've got a whole lot more fun coming your way from Grandview Elementary School as Erie News Now Sunrise Friday edition continues.